Hey guys, this is Mr. 8 Krizzy here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys something really, something really cool. Like it, it's always something really, it's always something cool that 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 I found on 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 the Cinema Sickness Instagram store. I actually got this from from Cinema Sickness from the Cinema Sickness Instagram store today, and it's not a DVD or Blu-ray or VHS this time. It's actually more, it's actually more of a, a very rare board game, of course. Like it's actually a rare board game as well. Like. Yeah, and, and and I and I thought it was pretty cool seeing this on the Cinema Sickness Instagram store, so so I went so I went and got this from the from from from, from the Cinema Sickness Instagram store of the board game, and that's gonna be on the board game, the Blue's Clues game. Yep, yep. This is actually the board game based on the popular children's show Blue's Clues, my, my all-time favorite kids show of all time. Yeah, I already said that. But yeah, so the board game looks like this. It's got a picture of Blue on it. And of course, it also has Steve right there. Yep. And, and th this board game was actually released by my, not only Nick Jr. Play to Learn Nickelodeon, but it was also it was also released by University Games, which never really heard of that company before. But yeah, University Games was actually the company that made the Blue's Clues board game. So, and and the notebook, the handy dandy notebook says for ages three to six. Yep. And of course, this is what the backside looks like, and it basically tells you how to play. Of course, like think and play the Blue's Clues way. Yep. And the contents include like a, a game board, clue cards, a spinner, an instruction booklet, four playing pieces, and a handy dandy notepad. Yep. Oh yeah, and plus the the. And plus these three things here that they that I think that, that I think that was also like a reference a reference to the first three clues from the from the from the very first episode of Blue's Clues Snack Time. Like a glass, a straw, and a cow. Yeah, but it, but in the episode it it goes with a cup, a straw, and a cow from, from the first episode of Snack Time. Yeah, so I I I remember first hearing about this board game. Like I remember first hearing about this game like when I when I watched a review on it. On, on a website it's not youtube it's a, it's actually it's actually like a video sharing re review and thoughts website called expo tv like if you don't know what expo tv is expo tv used to be like a website like i remember watching all the time and expo tv is, is, is like a video sharing website where where, where many where many many parents of, of kids and, and and it's and it's and it's also a place where where people can share their thoughts on a certain item whether it's a board game or a DVD or physical media or food or anything like that, it's kind. It's kind of like how it's kind. It's kind of. It's kind of similar to how how some people review stuff on Amazon, but Expo TV is is more more of like a video sharing website where where people can give their certain thoughts on on a certain thing. Yeah, because I remember I remember seeing I remember seeing a review. Uh, I remember seeing an Expo TV review on the Blue's Clues board game. And I've seen people do reviews of this on the Expo TV website, and, and but sadly, I don't think Expo TV really exists anymore because I because I think it redirects to, to like another website, which I think is probably the new Expo TV. But I'm kind of surprised that that it, I'm kind of surprised that that the Wikipedia article is still up there, which, which I know I'm sure it will it will, it will still remain up there. But <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> so, but I kind of don't I kind of don't think Expo TV really exists anymore. Well, I mean, maybe it still does, but 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 I think the website probably the the website just just isn't the same what it used to be, like Expo TV. But yeah, but I, I still remember the Expo TV website, and and I and I remember for and, and and that was the website when I first heard about this board game, the Blues Clues board game, when 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 some people did a review on it on Expo TV. I think Expo TV was also based in New York City as well. Which is pretty interesting from what I read on Wikipedia years ago. But but I'm just glad that, that I got the Blues Clues game right here. The Blues Clues board game. It just brings back memories for just for nostalgia. I only got this for nostalgia, and I and I actually got this for twelve dollars. Yeah. Yeah, it it, it costed twelve dollars on the Cinema Sickness Instagram store when, when I first heard about it on June twenty-third. Yeah, I think June twenty third. I think was last Wednesday when I first saw this board game, and so that that, that was actually the day I I purchased it. Yeah. Cool. So. 
So there you have it, guys. That, that that's pretty much all there is to say for 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 for, for my thoughts on, on the Blues Clues board game. And so that's going to be it for this video. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Mr. A. Crizzy saying goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.